<sighs> this first question is, how are you? I'm doing all right. I'm just a just weak from the chemo treatments, but you know what? I'm still getting up every morning, and that's the great thing about it. God's blessed me with another day, and um, come out to watch practice today. I get to watch practice on Mondays and Tuesdays, so I'm doing okay. I get to see my kids and been to the last two games, so that's what I love. And the we're sitting in something that was a gift from folks locally and you've been I mean we talk we can talk about this and there's the the platform which was another reason that we came down I thought that the platform was really cool well we're, we're blessed here to have so many people that work for all our sports programs and all our extracurricular activities um, you know you start looking at places like our one act play yeah I mean we got so many people that help them and do stuff like that our band our cheerleaders but our booster club bought me a golf cart when I first got sick and I could sit on it at practice because even the coaches were on me about sitting on our John Deere Gator because I was losing energy in practice. So they bought me this and, and then Chris Polk and our shop class built the, um, the platform. So it's just been a community effort and it's really been a community fight. So I'm proud of what they've done for me. And then all the signs that you see, you know, praying for Buddy, we got your back bud and all that kind of stuff. When, when you and Tammy go through town, when you go through this town, you go through Fitzgerald, what's that like? Well, they've got them all over Fitzgerald. And they've got them all over Osceola. You know, it just kind of gives me a little bit of hope that shows me. And a, a person doesn't have to have a sign. I know there's people in that house that are thinking about me and, and doing stuff. What's it like to, to be out here coaching, being with your kids after you have chemo cycles and hospital visits and things like that? What's it like to be back out here? Just that hope word. You know, it gives me hope to see our kids and, you know, my coaches. My coaches have done a phenomenal job. Um, I wish I could name every one of them, but I don't want to take too long. But. They've just done a phenomenal job of, of what they're doing, and our kids are still playing hard, which it don't matter who the head coach is at Irwin County. These kids are going to play hard, and they're going to get the job done. So uh, Friday night, be just like any other thing, the kids are going to play hard. How special is senior night going to be this year? You know, I've known these seniors. Uh, first year I got here, they were in seventh grade. And my wife was teaching them math, and she was telling me everything other than football about this kid and that kid. So I really got to know them outside of football. And then, um, you know, whenever they come to me and, and talk to me, you know, it may not be about running the down play or the trap, you know, it may be about, hey, coach, I got a chance to do this next year. Um, we had one kid, he's a senior, um, came to me um, back when I first got back, came to me and gave me a thank you. And really, I hadn't done anything, but he got into the college of his choice. And he said, coach, I got there because of your letter of recommendation. Well, really, he didn't. He got there on his own, but just being a part of stuff like that, really makes me know that it's other than football. What is, and I'm not going to use the term normal day or average day because those don't exist anymore really, but what is a, what is a day like for you now? Um, I wake up about six o'clock in the morning. Um, my wife's getting ready to go to school. You know, we really wanted her to get back in the classroom. Um, you know, kind of sit around for a little while. My mama comes and stays with me during the week and, um, you know, watch film at the house, check my emails. Um, I got a Surface. I've had a Surface for about two years now, so I can watch film. Um, 
basically try to eat as much as I can, but it's just hard with where the tumor's at in my stomach. Yeah. And the chemo doesn't give you much taste. But that's a basic day, and my wife will come home, uh, pick me up during her planning period, bring me back. Or if practice is later, I'll come back for practice. Uh, come back for practice. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I try to take those afternoons off. But we don't practice on Thursday afternoon. We practice at 6.30 in the morning. Yeah. When the platform that the Ag Department joined you in Pearson, what was that like? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. It's pretty cool to sit up there. And then when they put the Duck Dynasty blind up uh -huh. there, I thought that was so awesome <laughs> to be up there and everything. But it kind of shows what Chris and all of them have done, you know, to haul it over there and, and to be able to do things like that. Um, you know, for the coaches to do, um, for the coaches to put that tent up there and, you know, have a heater in there. They were taking care of me, and um, you know I'm still I'm still kind of sharp, you know a little bit here and there, but you know I'm kind of like getting the game plan and doing some stuff there. So, but it's kind of you know it felt good. I can see it elevated, and I'm not in danger. So, and keeping keeping your brain still active, coming out here to practice. I mean, it's it's you doing what you do. Exactly. You know, that's the key thing I want to do. I want to stay involved in the in the program and make sure I'm getting everything done. Uh, Coach Soliday, he's kind of taking over the day-to-day -day program, but I try to take, I try to make sure I'm helping and doing this and doing that. So that way I can still be involved. All right, last week of the regular season coming up. I'm, a, I'm asking coach. I'm asking the coach this question. Last week of the regular season coming up in the region of Doom. What do you What do you see in the region right now? Oh man, I tell you what. Um, first of all, um, you know people like Turner and and um, Turner and Wilcox have really just picked it up. I mean, everybody always thought about us, Charlton and um, and Clinch. But man, those guys have done a great job. Um, you know, we should have possibly four, maybe five teams in the playoffs again. You know, Telfair, if they could just ever, if Matt and them could just ever get a break and win two more games sometimes or maybe one more game at Telfair, we might be pushing six to get in there. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, our region is unbelievable. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I really appreciate what Region 2 has done for me. Every team did something this year. And, and you know what? We get after each other and we'll slobber knock each other and <laughs> knock each other down. But, man, whenever you have guys like, you know, Telfair coming over to do this or Wilcox coming over to do this and, you know, even people from Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. um, just unbelievable. It's just a straight blessing from the Lord. Love you, dude. Love you too, man. Appreciate you. Yeah.